Hello everyone. All right, so I have a tutorial for you. It's going to be with Color Street. This beautiful set. Oh my goodness, it's um Solar Flare. It's a gradient. So, if you're in my VIP Facebook group, um I asked if I should do a braid tutorial or a different reverse gradient. So, if you've seen my previous video, I did it with um a heart paper punch if you haven't seen that I'll link it down in the description box because this time I'm just gonna use scissors here and some tweezers so if you are ready to follow along or just watch um, let's get to it I will leave my website um, of course probably down at the bottom or the top it's the one polish mama Com. And if you ever have any questions or want to see a video or need help with something, I'm always here and I am happy to help. So, all right, let's do it. All right, so as always, here is the set. Absolutely beautiful. If you're new to Color Street, welcome. It is so much fun. There's different gradients. I think this one is still available. Um, if not, there's other ones. Or you can just get a hold of me and I will help you get one if you like this one. Because I do. Look at those colors. Oh my goodness. Alright. So some of the gradients that we have are vertical. This one is horizontal. Um, so you definitely need to plan your design with that. I'm going to set this aside for my garbage. And you want to always clean your nails with the prep pad. To get the best application and I do my fingertips set that aside all right so like always I save my leftovers so I'm gonna cut this side because I like having the name and then even though this one's pretty distinct I still like to have it saved in case I forget or something so I'm going to set that aside for now. Alright, I cannot get over this set. It is by far one of my favorites. Absolutely beautiful. Alright, and then you put them down and in certain ways it looks all red. Oh, so cool. Alright, so first off is you want to apply all of your nails. Um, and then... I think because this is horizontal, I'm going to obviously do a horizontal, well, I guess actually it doesn't really matter, does it? Okay, anyways, I'm thinking out loud, but it's okay. All right, so I'm going to apply all of my nails. And if you guys ever want to see anything specific, again, just reach out to me. I always have all my social media stuff um, in the description box. Um, yeah, and of course, I love anything polish. The Color Street is amazing because you don't have to wait for it to dry. So that's totally amazing. Like, that's what always catches my eye and caught my interest in Color Street was not having to wait for it to dry. So let's see. And it's a little bit cold in my room, so they're not soft and squishy or whatever like I like, but it's okay because they're still going on amazingly. I think I missed, messed these ones up the order but it's okay because my thumb my my thumb my uh, middle finger seems to be the widest and then my uh, ring finger so those are the ones that I have the most trouble getting to cover but that's okay all right, and then the last one over, 
clean. As long as you keep a nice pool on them, <clears throat> you will get like an amazing application. So there's Solar Flare by itself. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, so now comes the gradient, reverse gradient. So as you can see on my nails, I have it the dark purpley red, the orangey, and then the yellow, I guess I'll just say yellow, orange, and red. So, I will want to use, obviously, it flipped like this. So, I'm just going to do it on a few nails. You always want to take the plastic off. And if you were doing it with a punch, you would obviously just get these darker colors here. It's kind of hard with this one. The um, the one I did was, uh, I don't remember. I did it with a heart. But it was a vertical gradient. So it was super easy to flip. It was super easy to flip. But I guess if you want to turn it this way, that would fit too. If it fits on your nails, that would be a really pretty one as well. Having it come in from the side like this. Because then you could turn it. But anyways, I'll link that one in the description box because I think that came out really pretty um okay so this is the thumb and I'm just going to cut some strips hopefully I'm getting them close to the right size if you know me and my cutting it is never good but that's okay because these are my nails, and I know you guys are probably amazing at cutting. Some of my VIPs, like, I don't even know how they do it. They get the tiniest things so perfectly. It blows me away. Okay. So, I cut those. Now I'm going to get some tweezers. Look how tiny these stupid things are. Like, what is even the reason for these? I don't even know. It came in a beauty thing that I got. So I decided to use them. So I'm going to pull that off. And you can see the darker color on the bottom. But I really don't like that one. I want it more darker. So I'm not using that one. I'm going to grab this one. Because I like it. Or maybe this one. Okay. So pulling that off. And then I think I'm going to do it on my ring finger. So obviously reverse gradient. You want it to go up like this. And then you get another one. And that's basically what you do to do a reverse gradient. I do these all the time with polish. It's so much fun and it looks really cool. And then I'll probably do like a thin one on the side. Get this one. But you can do it. I like the vertical ones I think better now that I'm using this one. Um, I like the look better. It all depends on what you like, obviously. And I'm here just to show you and help you if you have questions and give you an idea. Okay, so, so far, that's what we have. Reverse gradient. So now I'm going to do my other nail. I might just do two, like really, let's see, so purple to orange, I see, I keep saying, saying purple because that's what I see, but I think it's like a super dark red purple, what is that called, burgundy, so I don't know. 
This set is so pretty. If you don't have it, you need to get it. Okay. And then that one. And then squish off the end like that. Let's see. I kind of like that. Don't know yet. So, yes, that's the reverse gradient. If you have questions, just ask. I think I'll put this one on. Unless I just ruined it. No, okay, good. Throw that to the side. And I'm wondering if you can... I think I would like this one turned to the side, but because my nails are so long, um, I don't think, obviously, it would fit. So, and I need to move this one down. To get that purple there we go okay and then squishing it ripping it okay so I think I'm just gonna do those two nails and then throw that away I really 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 like this set I can't say that enough so last time I did hearts in my gradient, I think I want to try, I don't know, maybe a star. I like the other, um, the other one. It was either It Takes Tucson, no, I think It Takes Tucson is a pink one. I don't remember. It's blue and purple. I think it's really pretty. Okay. And I'm probably not going to picture my thumb. But I just wanted to see it with the star. And then darker on this side. So I'd get more purple. See, I said purple, because that's what I see. But, alright. And then, I really like these tweezers. These are super cool. I'm glad I got them. Got them for free, too. Okay. And then, put that there. So, something. I don't know. I, yeah, I don't think I like the this kind for the great reverse gradient. Okay, anyways, I just wanted to try that. Um, so, there we go. And I hope that gives you an idea on how to do it. If you want to see the other one, watch the other video. So, alright, I'll see you guys later. Bye.